Hello everyone and welcome your faces back to the channel. Welcome, welcome. Today we're doing a fun little video today. It's not going to be very theory, if you will. It's more chit chatter, character development, character talk. But more specifically, we're going to be doing a tier list. Now, I believe I might have dabbled a little bit before in a tier list. So I might need to correct me on that. I don't know. It's a, it's a big maybe. But we are doing the biggest tier list I can find on the site. And of course, this tier list is made by someone called Katzenia Gormati. Uh, I apologize if I butchered that uh, pronunciation. It, it happens a lot on this channel. I, I do apologize. But you know what else also happens a lot on this channel? Little nightmares for coverage. So if that takes your fancy, make sure you hit like and subscribe down below and do all the usual YouTube stuff. But without help that let's actually get into the tier list and of course if you want to take part and do your own list in the comments below more than welcome to i would be interested to see what everyone else thinks too we're kicking off the first part of the tier list with the chefs now the chefs coming in strong i think very early on coming in strong the chefs have always been quite a difficult enemy i don't know how i'm gonna gauge this but i think i might do it by how i've enjoyed it uh, like uh, playing against them or uh, you know spending time with that certain character and content so i think i'm just i'm gonna rate it on that front again let me know if you want me to uh, rate the hats i know that's a list on here for the uh, hats so that'd be quite funny um but yeah, so I enjoyed the chefs quite a bit. Um, I think they were quite chaotic. They're funny to me, but not in the way that's like... <laughs> they're not, not scary, because of course they have their like little quirks. They're also missing one chef. I think if I remember rightly, there's actually meant to be three of them. Um, but of course we only got two. But I still think it really holds that level in Little Nightmares 1. Wow, especially in the kitchen with the chefs. I think they are very mysterious, whatever's under the mask. I know we've done a video on that before. Um, but I find them super interesting. I will rate them as a pair though, not <laughs> not individually, because I think they are collective. Uh, I love the way they talk to you and express their emotion by reing, like a <laughs> you know all that jazz i think that i think they're a solid entry in the series so i think i'm gonna give them a b a very nice b just because because they are brilliant there you have it <laughs> so we are and this is one of the interesting things i found about about this tier late uh, this tier list which i found quite interesting they've included quite a few comic characters which i enjoyed so i'm very grateful they did that so the mummy i don't know what we actually dubbed this character Do, is there a proper name for this character i don't ever remember but i think we used to if i remember rightly we called it the the mummy boy i believe it was something around that sort of name but not much is said about this character i remember this is i think issue one of the 2017 comics not much coming from it other than the look of course the mummy look i think which is quite interesting but i think just the lack of content itself i think we're gonna have to give you a little d my mummy boy so i do apologize for that one and uh same for the girl in the same scenario with that i think again we didn't get much information about these characters so i do while i like them i don't think they are up there and uh, that goes to that one too i remember i think that's the hooded one i can't remember honestly with the little nightmares 2017 comics i generally can't remember half of what we called a lot of like, the side characters now that this character here the hooded sort of hunchback uh, child that character now that character i believe for me goes in a and i say that because the story they give us in the chapter um, in the comics is so intriguing considering where it was within the little nightmares releases and stuff i think it was like the first sort of time we got to really experience the sort of like creative vision that sort of like dave was aiming for and things like that i i think that character alone would have got me hooked for like a show like instantly i think they were so so interested especially how they talked to six in the comic about the whole music box and i think it was the music box or the mirrors i can't remember i think it was the music box i'm sure it was and um i always found it super no mirror no mirror it's a mirror one isn't it because yeah mirror so that was episode two well comp two okay so of course the more the more is i think as a place top tier especially considering all you know the law that we don't know and the law that we do know if we're going to be visiting it in little nightmares 3 and if we are finally done with it we know that the more has connections everywhere in little nightmares and i think for that reason alone it's definitely up there um i'm thinking definitely a the more itself is 
up there is a great experience. Now, this one I'm a little bit mm, about because I can't figure out if we're meant to act. Of course, there's massive theories about this one in particular. I think even we've had like a good few ones about her. Um, a lot of people assume this is six. I wouldn't necessarily say that this is six just because uh, there's a few... I can't remember fully what I argued with because, again, the video is, like, quite, quite old. Um, but I just because I think she was presented in the government, I don't think she necessarily is uh, six. But, again, we don't know. We don't know for sure. Um, but, again, we're not given much apart from just a photo of this character. I mean, at best, we could probably say it's tied to something to do with look, very little nightmares, possibly. I think maybe the girl we see in that, and again, a lot of people speculate. Well, we know that the the one, like not the player, but the the companion throughout Very Little Nightmares is six, but they also sort of dress like that. So it's a bit of a maybe we might have to revisit that old theory because again, we've got new content now, so it could be a good show. But I think for now, I'm going to put her in C. Now, this one I'm a little bit confused on. This one in particular, I don't know if that is the raincoat or the moment. But for both of them, that's A tier. A tier. The, oh, you know what? No, no. S tier. I'll say it. S tier. <coughs> the coat is iconic with Little Nightmares. Of course, going into Little Nightmares 3, we don't think 6 is going to be there. But the thing that caught everyone's eye initially was, of course, 6 and her coat. And I believe it was iconic. Again, I said it before, I said it again. The whole scene of her picking that coat up was absolutely phenomenal in my eyes. I thought it was fantastically done. So that is, that's up there. No questions asked. Mono, what a lad. Uh, Mono, Officer Mono here. I, I'm S, S. No, one, no one's messing with my boy. No one's messing. Oh, alone. Alone, I'm... I might just play it simple. A for alone. Because <laughs> don't know much about her. But the fact she's uh, versatile and uses weapons similar to low. I think it's very intriguing. So I'm going to... And the mystery around her. Especially that mask. I've got to say it's very... It's giving me very mono vibes. So I think... Yes. Alone you can go up S. The Finn Man. Oh, I hated how sort of that theory... I hate how that sort of story backs up around itself. But I think we should go... I know that the Finn Man was a great part of the, sh the game and all that jazz. I don't think he belongs with Mono. I think he's just going to go a step down to A for me. A. I don't know. I just... Um, I don't know. It's a bit of a funny one. Like, I don't fully like... I don't fully really love the Finn Man. Of course, I love his design. I love the fact that he's like an enemy and how that played out. Like, the way he was set up, fantastic. Absolutely loved it. But I think... It hurts knowing it's mono. <laughs> I think that's the worst thing about it. That's what dropped him a level. It hurts. It hurts my soul. Okay, so we've got the kids from... I believe this is the fire from the newer comics. Again, don't know much about them. I think a lot of the comic kids are going to end up in D. Just because we don't know much about them. Other than like they just get shown in certain scenes and whatnot. Again, I would argue that this... I believe this is one of the uh, children from the second comic... That go in and do the whole chef looking thing. And they get duplicated through the mirrors from the mirror man. And I think that story is just a step above. I think that story is quite interesting. Although would I pull it with his? Mm. You know what? I'm fighting myself at this point. I mm. Yeah. I'm going to put them together. I'm, I'm going to put those specific stories together. Because they were really interesting. I would love to see where we go with that any further. So the bread boy, the bread boy is top tier. If it weren't for that boy, probably six would have chowed down on a gnome a bit quicker. But I am going to throw him in B category. I just, we don't get to see enough of him, do we? Of course, I don't think it matters too much. Because, I, again, I wonder if it will play into Little Nightmares. I have, I have an idea of how it could play into Little Nightmares 3. But, of course, I'll save that for a video. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see that. And, of course, the bullies. Now, the bullies, I think this one is a painting specifically. I'm going to put them with B because I absolutely thought they were little bees. I hated the bullies, especially in the corridor. I think we had on a live stream. I died so many times from the bloody things. And, of course, we got the, I believe that's a crow. Now, the symbolism of a crow... I would say it's like A tier. Like, we're going right up. Because, of course, we know what the crows are tied to. But I think just a crow in itself is a very D level. I'm, I'm sorry, crows. Please don't hurt me. 
The Eye Boy. That's quite an interesting story. I've always wanted to know about that. I'm going to throw him in C. I don't think it, again. It's just one of those like scenery pieces that tell a story, but that I find that just as interesting. But I do think their whole like I did the whole theory on. That. I think they're stuck still because of the light on them. And I find it super interesting that those all worlds are colliding within Little Nightmares and Little Nightmares 2. Of course, Frog Boy didn't get to see much of him, but he was a little bit um, worse for wear. Now, this character I'm a bit confused with because this isn't actually a character. Technically, this one is the Ferryman. Um, but we also, I believe, have a Ferryman character. So, mm, I don't know how to... <laughs> Maybe for the story in the moment, I'm going to say S tier. That was absolutely, in the comics, fantastic what they did with that. Honestly, with the Ferryman, it was super, super cool. Especially uh, right at the end, you know. I think the boy's on the list uh, in that comic. And um, I find that sort of reveal so cool and so interesting. And again, it just sparks up so much stuff about what the Ferryman can do and what he actually is. And, you know, yada, yada. Patience! Oh my god, if it weren't for the helicoptering in the Doctor's level, I would not have got past these. They're going to go in A tier just because of the fact they were a fantastic enemy. And they actually made me poo myself a few times, so I will give them the A rank. Not S, but A. The Doctor uh, fit in that same sort of ball. I think, again, great enemy, great AI. I think how they handled him, again, was fantastic. It was some really tense moments with him. I, the hospital level in general, I think, was so well done. I remember when I first got to play it, I absolutely pooed myself when I was walking along the first time and I saw that um, torso of the mannequin on the stretcher and I was like, oh, I'll jump up here. Jumped up and it started shaking. I was like, ah, oh my goodness. And, and that one was actually petrifying. <laughs> I will say I was very surprised with Little Nightmares for that one. And then we've got some more eye symbols. I believe this is more of a symbol for the eye and the more. Again, we don't get any real elaboration on these because they are paintings more than anything. Again, the eye is a very common symbol, so I'm going to say that's a C because it's a very visual one. Of course, it could beat these out just because. There you go. I'm going to put that. I'm going to put that top tier. I'm going to put that that way around because. They, these are an enemy in some in, in a sense, so they are a little bit above the other two, I reckon. But, yeah, you see them a lot. I think there's just a lot of scene replacement, and, you know, um, they tell the story a bit more. And then, of course, we've got the King Bully. Again, not much there. Um, uh, Porcelain Child had his head put through. You know, they obviously, they're terrible with each other as well as, of course, Mono. And I think that's very evident in how we still see them act. So that's no surprise there. Uh, again, bully. Ah, oh, the bullies. I think are gonna sit in a B category. I think I'm gonna bring this one down to a C and put it behind because it's just a painting. But if we're going for the actual bullies, I would say they're a bit. Mm, yeah, definitely above the bread boy. I'm gonna say about there. That's what I'm gonna say. Fish. Um, very S tier. <laughs> no, I think four fishies. Um, we will we will keep you there, my fish. Uh, sorry. At least you made the list, you know. Um, this one, I believe, is, I think it's the strong man, the strong man from the second comic, and again, I'm going to put this in with him, because I think their story is super, if you haven't read it, go read it, it is super interesting, and we can't now necessarily say that they're not canon either, I wonder if the release was a bit t wrongly timed, if you will. I don't think they're actually non-canical anymore. I do think, because I went back to look at the tweets that did claim that they had been, you know, revoked and decanalized, and I can't find them. I think they might have been deleted, or I'm just completely looking in the wrong place. But I know for a fact I did see a tweet that said it, but now I don't see it anymore. I'm going to ignore it. So I'm going to I'm going to say the comics are fair game. I'm going to say, you know what, every theory we've ha ever had about the comics from 2017 is going to stand still. The Ghost Boy. Now, the Ghost Boy is super interesting, even in the new comic, especially with, like, how he sort of, like, how his story plays out. I find it really interesting. Again, I'm going to put him in with the comics. I think they would do, they would done so well. I'm going to move them more right to the end. Don't think we're top tier with the more just yet, my guy. I think, um, I think the Ghost Boy has that kind of unique story because, of course, the, the comics. And, again, I think it's really well done. Okay, so the glitches. The glitches are an interesting one. 
Whether they actually tell more story story, I do believe they're just remnants of past children and memories, if you will, and dreams and stuff like that. Like how we know it ties with the nowhere. I think they're just past previous children. Uh, who knows what they succumb to? Perhaps it's a signal tower. I mean, I think we did do a video on this. But I do find them quite interesting. It's a shame that they weren't treated like the Shadow Kids on Little Nightmares. The DLC for Little Nightmares with the residents. Because I did love how the Shadow Kids acted. Because they were like, oh, they were petrifying. They were like patient level. Okay, and the runny, uh, the runny, the bloody runny nose oh my god the bloody nose girl there it is <laughs> the bloody nose girl i think again is another top tier story and i would love to see her story expanded on even further again her and noon i would be so down for having a dlc let me know what you think about that because i, I super the granny the granny is the unsung hero of little nightmares you aren't going to stop me i'm going to put the granny in s tier the granny has to be one of the best things that came out of the depths i was so so sad that we didn't get to see her longer in the depths i think they could have dragged her out a lot more uh, most of her moments were super tense like i remember multiple times playing the depths and that used to generally i dreaded doing the granny bits because they were absolutely petrifying there's nothing worse than be that constant fear that something's going to pull you under. Uh, it's a reflection on life, I suppose. <laughs> but honestly, I think that is probably the strongest thing to ever come out of the first uh, DLC. Like instantly, the Little Nightmares DLCs. Again, the Shadow Kids, I think, would fall behind on that one as well. The Hanging Man has always been a really interesting topic. Um, I find super interesting. Again, I, we did a theory about this one a while ago. And some of the stuff, actually, the majority of that theory stands today. I actually don't think you can disprove it so far. Um, as for everything and enjoyment, I am going to put it in the A tier. I think the A tier is going to fit up very fast. <laughs> oh, the Mirror Man. So I believe this is the Mirror Man. I, I know it's a bit on the fence and a bit of, um, how would you say? I, I feel like it's a bit of a reach. Um, but I do feel like the pose is similar to that of the Mirror Man that we saw in the comics. So although it doesn't tell us a lot, I do think I'm going to put it in C. Yes, I'm going to put it in C. Okay, cat. It's a cute kitty. We're going to go C. <laughs> and then also we've got the leeches. The leeches, I believe, were also ah, so unfortunately cut of content. I think if they if they were running as they were intended, because they have animations of leeches running, standing up, and I think if that was the case, I'd be putting them up here with patience. But just because of that, I'm going to say C. I'm going to put it above the eye, though. I'm going to put it above the eye. Definitely above the eye. Okay. And I, th I believe this, these are the Watchers. Uh, the Watchers were great for a few of the scenes in Little Nightmares 2. Not massively amazing, but they definitely did sell the whole signal tower. So I am going to put them in B. I'm going to put them just behind the shit. Behind the bullies. I'm going to put them behind the bullies. And of course, gnomes A tier. A tier. Don't even, don't even talk to me unless you think those gnomes are A tier. Because, no. Those gnomes A tier. No matter what you say, A tier. And we know what they are now as well, so that it makes it even worse. And also, you know, the moment, you know, of course, we won't respond there. The runaway kid, I think, is an unsung gem. Of course, we're going to have to put him in front of the gnome because we all know what happens there. Um, I really do think that was uh, the whole twist there was absolutely brilliantly done. It was, yeah, I mean, you weren't expecting it, were you? So <laughs> it was so well done. Um, the hands, the hands coming out of the prison cells. I believe it was prison cells. A little bit spooky, but not nothing amazing. So I'm going to say again, C. I'm going to put them behind the leeches. Uh, we have got the... Is that the moment with the grandfather clocks with Roger? I believe so. That moment is a B moment. That is definitely a B moment. That was really good. Like That one had me tense. I remember when I first played that one and we had to throw the shoe... That one was tense. I think Roger just sitting in the south is amazing. Okay, the guests. The guests, I think, we're going to fit behind the Watchers. A little bit above the bread boy, but just behind the Watchers. I, I feel like they were annoying as hell. <laughs> Especially trying to do the jump before you get to the ladies' quarters. Like, oh my god, that was so painful. That jumping onto that mesh was an absolute nightmare. 
The Hunter. The Hunter is another good boy. I think he was fantastic. I'm so close to saying A, but I don't... Oh, no, I can't. I'm going to put him in front of... I am going to reshuffle these. I'm going to put those ones a bit together. I think uh, I think the Bloody Nose Girl story is just a bit above them. Um, but he is definitely above those two. Okay, that's shuffled a bit better now. Yeah, I was saying, yeah, it's shuffled a bit better. I think the Hunter was super good. What a way to start the game. Absolutely straight out the gate. He was on you. Like a fly on poo. He was going to get you. You know, like that was absolutely petrifying. Um, the hand, the hand, I think, is an unsung gem. I know I've said that already, but I think they should have used them a little bit more. Maybe not so much. I would have liked to send them outside the doctor's level. But like, I know it sounds silly, but I would have loved to see them somewhere where we weren't expecting them. I'm going to say they're just behind the Finn Man. I'm going to say behind the Finn Man, just. Okay, now low, low of course is ST. I'm going to put them alongside alone. I cannot wait to play those in Little Nightmares Three. I am dying for Little Nightmares Three, but I am excited. I want to pick low as my first choice going through Little Nightmares Three because I bloody want that bow. Um, I would love it if you could inter interchange weapons. Like, that would be really fun. Um, but I doubt that you'll be able to. Of course, you can use those special weapons in the level and stuff like the umbrella we saw. But, yeah, I think as a core, super interesting. Not to forget his charm bracelet, which I also think is really interesting, especially with the whole North Wind story. I don't know if I've done a video on it. I think I have, or you've definitely seen it by now. But the whole use of charms in Little Nightmares comic and him having a charm, super interesting. And there's definitely a connection. And, again, the bullies, I'm going to put them quite side by side. They were a nightmare just flat out. I hate the bullies. But not in the best way. Um, oh, no, that's the strong man. So what was the other one? Oh, that must have been the tall one. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, again. I find the tall one a little bit more interesting because cat. <laughs> if it weren't for the tall one, we wouldn't have the cat. <laughs> but, yeah, again, the strong one is a bit interesting. I, I would say that... Okay, spoil goes ahead, though. I would say that. Monster 6, absolute A tier. Absolute A tier. I would have loved to send a lot more of that. I know we got to briefly tangle and fight with her, but I know I'd have liked a little bit more, even like a bit more environmental telling, a, just a bit more, you know? Like, I liked how they paced it, and I wouldn't change it, definitely, especially that end bit, but I really would have loved some more Monster 6. I think she was actually petrifying. And then we have a moth. I'm going to put the moth next to the cat. No, 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 you know what? I'm gonna, I like a moth. I'm going to put it above the cat. <laughs> I like moths. Leave me alone. The music box. And the music box is a massive symbolism, isn't it? Like, there's so much going on with that. It's got to be tied to six. So, I'm going to say, just falls behind Monster Six for me. It's almost like the music box is the center of a lot of these stories, especially with six. But I wonder why. Teacher, absolute A tier. Above Hunter, easy every day. Above Hunter. A tier. The, the, um, the teacher was easily <coughs> scary the whole way through especially the school chapter i was on edge with her like she is that long neck is gonna get you <laughs> and of course we have the void the flesh eye void i think that's super interesting i would like them to sort of explore that a bit more or explain a little bit more so i am gonna put them above the more not above the patients but above the more i find that story really unique and interesting okay so we've got a few of the uh, paintings from the mall. Again, not much is said about these characters, so I am going to list them off together. Um, again, feel free to correct me if you'd like to. Um, some of these do have a connection. Like A lot of people think this one is connected to the Hunter. I mean, it's a good shout. It definitely would match the profile of the face, for instance. Where is he? Uh, there he is. I mean, it could match, but it, at what point would the Hunter be at the mall and, you know, be in taught by the governess and stuff like that i don't know it's a bit of a funny one yeah we've got some more of them again i wish we would have known a little bit more about them i know in very little nightmares i think they're hinted at again but it's really interesting i don't know too much about them though i mean we could theorize all day again it's a tier list it's a tier list we don't see them too much they're just pictures so definitely d again similar but i would definitely put this one above it just because of what is going on in that photo it's like it's been 
the ones being fed? I have no idea. Again, the patient, I believe. I think we've already had the patient, haven't we? So yeah, we'll put them together. Now, the Little Nightmares free new enemy. I get the feeling that it's very teachery, uh, but more arms. So I am going to put this above the hand, but below the teacher. So nicely slotted in there. I, I can't wait for that one. I think this is the not the baby guess. I always forget which one this one is. But <laughs> she does make me laugh a bit more. Um, okay, the dunce hat. Uh, the dunce hat is, again, just a photo. There's not much going on with that. It does do a bit of storytelling, I suppose. I'm going to put it above the cat. <laughs> Sorry, cat. rat a tat tat uh, We've got rat. I'm going to put that probably below. the girls from Very Little Nightmares. The red scarf girl. I don't... Is that what we coined her? I can't remember. Um, again, I had a brief run in with her. A bit horrible how it end, ended for her. So I am going to put her in C. The lady absolute, I believe, top tier. I think she's up there. I think the lady's story and how she is presented and acts as an enemy is absolute top tier for me. Top tier. Can't argue otherwise. Now the runaway kid, I think we've already done. So I think we'll put beside the float Sam sort of image. Uh, the hand in the bag. Um, it was very useful, let's say. So we've actually got it by law, put it on C. <laughs> and the seagull... Again, effect. I oh, will rank a seagull above a rat, though. Those those always lose to a fish. <laughs> but so far, we have got crow. Crow above all the animals. <laughs> I believe this is the shadow kids. Now, the shadow kids, I believe, are somewhere up here. I don't know where, though. I do think it's possibly a bee. No, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to say a bee, but a very high bee. Very high bee. Dark six... Equal ah, Dark Six is equally impressive to me. Lots of story going on behind there. I wish we could learn more. I'm gonna put her in front of Monster Six, and uh, in a new video, I would explain. It would explain why I think this, but I do think that the Dark Six and Monster Six are a little bit different. But yeah, the Dark Six was so cool, especially when we first saw her and the first time we were introduced. Um, the shoe monster is a pain in the butt, a bit of a nightmare to play against, but again, not really scary because, again, we don't see it. It sort of leads into the granny's whole sort of AI, but we just don't see it enough. So I'm going to put that above the bread boy. And then I believe, this is where I get a bit confused with this, we've got the children in the bed. Again, very interesting, similar to how I believe the girl, the girl's position is. We don't know enough, but there are some interesting sort of thoughts and theories that we have about them. Again, we don't really... They are good for when we escape and we get into that room with Roger. But other than that, there's not much to them, rather than sort of being a decorative piece. These are some more guest ones. Again, another portrait. I think we'll have to put these similar to each other. Yeah, I think that's fair. The granny that's stuck in the attic, I think, has always been quite an interesting one. I think in terms of story, her story is super super interesting it would be really cool if we had some more material on her um i'm definitely gonna put her up here just because she's interesting to me and that family as well to be honest they are all interesting i find them super interesting to mess with um the dangly body is gonna put you as a nice good old d at the top the butler oh the butler is up here I think the butler is such a really interesting character. It's just such a shame that he was confined to Very Little Nightmares. Again, not a lot of people play Very Little Nightmares. Not a lot of things are going on with Very Little Nightmares. So it's just a shame. That's why I think the lady is such a good shout. She's so, she's so close to him that I think they have learnt from one another before. So I'm going to put it behind the hunter. And then, of course, we've got a chandelier. I don't know what that is. The cage, I believe that's six in the cage, perhaps? I can't remember. The Craftsman, I believe, is on the same sort of page as Roger for me. I think it was quite good. I don't think he was amazing. But I think his character design was unique enough that it howled its own. And that's why I'm going to give him. Just falls behind the patience. Just falls behind. Lollipop Boy, really interesting story. I'd love to see that expanded upon. I am going to put him in A tier. A tier, right at the bottom though, because, oh no, 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 actually, next to the ghost kid. Again, all their stories are super interesting. If the comics would have continued, I would have loved to see what would happen, but alas, we didn't get it. 
The ferryman. Now I'd be a fool if I didn't put the ferryman tier. Top. Tippity top. Tippity top tier. The ferryman is up there. And I mean up there with six. Like There is so much. So much news and information we have about the ferryman. And it just does not make sense. <laughs> it's just not cut and dry. A lot of the information on the ferryman. We know of course from now. The sounds of nightmares. And of course all nightmares. And um. Sort of those two colliding and how it sort of presented the ferryman. I found it super, super interesting. Again, I don't know about you, but I feel like the ferryman has a lot to come in the future. The cage boy, we sort of just... It's another scene we item in it that we didn't get much from. The mirror man, absolute top tier. Managed to turn all those kids... Oh, where do we put him? Behind the ferryman, behind the ferryman. Yeah. The monster baby... Oh, I'm going to say, we're going A, we're going A, and because she's new, A tier, right up there, right up there, I cannot wait to go against her. Oh, the boy's here again, I swear I put him beside, yeah, there you go. Okay, now this is the kid I was talking about earlier from the Little Nightmares 1 comic, the one who finds out that his sister is the ferryman. His story, super intriguing, I'm going to put him as S. I think if they wanted to build on top of that, they could have, but they didn't, and oh, it pains me really does but again i think the whole twist with that was nah, chef's kiss i think i'll put him just in front of that oh yeah the wax bowman the wax bowman was very popular at one point i know we spoke about it a good few times even one of our theories got confirmed on him and i think that was probably one of the awesome bits about it so for that alone i'm gonna put him in a i want to know more about him i want to see him again Possibly we'll see him in Little Nightmares. Again, the blind boy. Similar story to how some of the other kids in the comics played out. Really interesting. Really would have loved to expand more upon them. But again, we didn't get anything really other than what we saw briefly. Um, the key, the key is, I believe, B tier. Um, it's more of a tool rather than a character. <laughs> Although I do laugh at it. Um, okay, so the data mind sort of uh, ghoul-like thing. Trying to snatch children. This one is super interesting. We never got any sort of confirmation about this. But there was lots of us that thought it was something to do with, of course, how the ferryman would go and take children. And I think as we've come on a lot more, it makes as much sense as it did then. So actually, I'm going to put it ab yeah, above the bloody girl, a bloody nose girl. I, I really would have liked to see more. Of course, I've said that a lot, but that would have been so... Okay, and not Veronica. Of course, Veronica, not Veronica is A tier. And it might be because I did that theory on it, which uh, did very well, and everyone thinks that is the song lyrics now. <laughs> so I think I will, uh, I, 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 will, I will put Veronica up there. Or, well, not Veronica. <laughs> but yeah, I, do, I think that was very interesting, especially the way they handled that nursery rhyme. And also, the position in, uh, where she is in the world of Little Nightmares I find quite interesting. Because, you know, we have like a brief inter uh, not inter uh, We have like a brief uh, moment where we're shown this with like that uh, bakery guy and he's trying to do it in a photo. I think that's quite interesting. The pigeon, I like them more than seagulls, so they're going above them. <laughs> the nest, I believe, was an interesting place. Definitely. I am going to. Oh, do I say it's above Little Nightmares? I mean, do I say it's above them all? Oh, I don't know. Um, is there a tiebreaker I can do? No? Okay. That's good to know. Um, I guess I, I do find it a bit more interesting. Mm, no, no, no. Okay. No, the more stay supreme. <laughs> and the North Wind, get up there, son. You are tip top of my life. The North Wind is just one thing we will never know the answer to, I don't think, unless they plan on telling us. I would be super, super pumped if we saw this in Little Nightmares 3. There's just so much symbolism for this character. Like, oh, we need it. It kills me inside that we don't. And, of course, the bear, again, scenery. And, of course, the main Dorito out of it all, six. You know what? I'm going to put six there. Again, I love the North Wind, and I absolutely would love more. But Six's story and all the characters she meets, of course, she has to land A tier. That's just the way it is. I think it would be super interesting if we see Six again, but I won't be heartbroken if we I won't be heartbroken if we don't. Because I think I would understand a bit. 
But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think about my uh, tier list and how I've done. Um, if you want to see me tier list all the hats, let me know. <laughs> I feel like that would be a very funny video. Um, with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a lovely morning, day or night, wherever you are in the world. Remember, if you like Little Nightmares content, make sure you hit subscribe and do all the YouTube, YouTube stuff. But with that being said, have a lovely morning, day or night, wherever you are in the world. Stay safe, and I'll see you all soon in the next video.